Hello everyone, just wanted to show you uh, this latest thing to come off my painting desk. It's um, a mogul period elephant with musket armed crew and uh, this came out of my uh, unpainted figure mountain. Um, had it many years. Um, I bought it, I think, at a show. I think it was at Legionary, and it was from War Games Emporium. So it was back in the day when War Games Emporium used to uh, attend shows, and remarkably, I think it was a Legionary in Exeter. So they had come down all the way from. Sheffield down to Exeter to attend the show um, and the figure itself is from Indus Miniatures um, uh, and I've still got the blister here in front of me so made but made in the USA by Indus Mini Miniatures but packaged by War Games Emporium so the packaging is entirely down to War Games Emporium now that relationship must have ended many years ago um, certainly it's not available any longer from War Games Emporium and Indus Miniatures themselves do still seem to be in existence they have a website um, not sure whether the web address I've got here is let me have a look Oh yeah, yeah, it is. It's the same as the one that's still extant. So it's www.indusminiatures.mybigcommerce.com. Um, yeah, the website is uh, obviously priced in dollars because they're based in the USA. Um, but also it doesn't appear to have been particularly well maintained of late and as you navigate your way through it there are pages missing and so on so um, personally I would I wouldn't risk purchasing figures from them uh, you know and sending for them from America over to here in the UK um, especially given the, uh, the the sort of untidy nature of their their present website but you know maybe if you're interested in the range and you're um, over that side of the Atlantic then you could take a risk um, I, I, I came across these figures at this trade show around the time that um, the range of figures that I was collecting for the mobile period from Bearsden um, went had disappeared basically so they they struck me as being a useful um, alternative range but then um, I sort of gave up on painting the moguls for a long time and uh, never purchased I've got a couple of other blister packs from them but never purchased a great deal more um, and, and just recently the Bearsden range has reappeared um, forget the it was the, certainly the little corporal was the name of the uh, the web page that I found them on let me just look it up and keep you up to date yeah TLC miniatures sold now by the little corporal um, is where you can get the the old Bearsden range of figures uh, but anyway, this is a mainly resin model. Um, the figures are metal. The elephant's ears are metal for some reason, but everything else is resin. Um, I think it's quite a nice model. The figures are, are, are maybe a little bit skinny and slender, um, so they're a little bit different from the uh, the Bearsden ones, just in terms of of their uh, proportions and so on but I yeah I think it's a really nice model and um, the elephant is very much uh, after the appearance of of an elephant illustrated in the Osprey 
uh, book on the moguls, um, but I don't think the sculptor was copying that. I think both are um, referencing uh, original sources, mogul sources. Uh, forgive me, I forget the, the name of the source, but there's clearly an, uh, a manuscript um, you know, that depicts an elephant and crew dating back to the mogul period. And I think this and the Osprey book are both based on that. Um, that's really all I have to talk about in terms of the elephant. Really pleased with it. Um, tufts on the base again from Tajima. Um, tufts down down in the West Country in Cornwall. Um, and yeah, just one last thing, a little factoid about elephants that I forgot to mention the last time I put a, an elephant up. Uh, a couple of months ago, and that is that um, uh, the African forest elephant and the Indian elephant have five toes on each foot, but only four toenails on the back feet, on the back pair of feet. Um, so for those of you who are button counters and rivet counters and all that kind of thing and like to get detail, <laughs> absolutely right on your models um, if you are painting up an Indian elephant such as this one um, and the model depicts the toenails then there should only be four on the back pair of feet and not five um, and that is all I have to talk about thank you very much for watching see you on the next video bye for now